evening to each and everyone. Are you already there? Good morning, Sir Lowell. Morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Sir Wing, na lang ko ipangotana. Yes, yes, ma'am na yun. Ma Madunggan lagi na na kung nag-istorya-istorya ang sa tic dyan yung anak niya po ninyo, ha? Kan di ba information or about our kung karon karoon sa original bang link na to? I think need by accept yung ma'am. Kata nak share gini. Saun mana nak aku aku ni oh, sabak mana nak memilih kita nama. Kalau pagi off, tunggu rumah desa time. Or imuha mam, basik dua imuha link mam, di open. Alagi, ang katong first bang link na to sa opening ganina. Ay, ikaw na to ma'am. Close na to ma'am. Dari na to ma'am. Balik na tarin doon niya. Ako na i-off. Ah, yes ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, magdungan ang... Ah, okay. Okay, na na. Na na, sir. Okay na. Thank you. So, it's now 10.17. We will start our parallel session in relation to essential features of the best teaching learning experiences particularly in our cluster, the Accountancy, Business, and Management cluster. So if you have a good, strong internet connection, requesting to open your cameras. Okay, naanad ko sa student man, student na to, off cam tanan. So teachers man takaroon. So I think it would be better nga I would be seeing you, listening and participating in our in our uh, session, no, this morning so thank you everyone so we will start with our uh, session now with the sets of objectives that uh, that we will that we would like to attain, attain at the end of the uh, session so <clears throat> yeah. so at the end of the session we should be able to promote the essential features of the best teaching learning experiences in a subject specific area applying these uh, features in our learning modules or in, or in our instruction not to our uh, students no? second uh, have our lasallian partners examine the best features in their own teaching learning practice so Hope, hoping that you could share also uh, your your experience as best feature if possible if if you think that i missed because i'm not the expert here in relation to the best feature but i did what i what i observed no, from various uh, techniques of our uh, teachers number three Create avenues for collab. So we will be collaborating at the end, of, near the end of our session, in order to improve our teaching learning uh, experiences. So I I have here the outline of the session. I made it quite simple for you to remember. So number one is our primary motivator why we should be learning this why we need to learn this so we have here because we wanted to achieve a certain goal we need to set this goal and find ways to achieve these goals and try to to level our sets of expectations usually this is what we did this is what i'm which this is what we are doing during our first day of class divine every semester we tend to level our expectations with the with the learners with the students and come up with uh, as as the participant of uh, this session uh, i want also to learn what you want to expect from this uh, from this session and what would be our ultimate goal and what are we trying to achieve no? because uh, if we tend to learn 
these features Usapan na to ang what would be our primary motivator why we are exerting efforts why we are spending time in in realizing these uh, features to our students because we have this uh, ultimate uh, goal in mind so, second is let's understand what is our current setup what would be the teacher learning the teaching learning environment that we are situated into no uh, we cannot uh, we cannot just copy what whatever is in the internet because uh the the context and the setup that they have that they have experienced is different from ours no so uh, i'll be presenting actually data no? data from our students and from you uh, from our teachers also uh pertaining to the environment that we are into as of this moment no? so uh, particularly uh, we consider this context for us to be more considerate in achieving our uh, in achieving our goals that we wanted to to achieve diba? and last but not least of course the main agenda is how are we going to deliver in order to achieve those uh, goals no and with that, one one of which is the essential features of the teaching learning experiences, and I will be presenting a summary of of what I have learned so far, and uh, feel free to comment later in uh, in relation to this to this essential feature, and I hope that you will agree with me, and you will apply the essential features to our respective classes. We'll start with our first uh, with our first uh, topic about why should we learning this. So I, I I'd like to ask from you what 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 do you think would be your primary motivator why we should be learning the essential feature of teaching experience and learning experience with our student. Uh, well, I I don't know why what what you need to look into and why what are the goals that you wanted to achieve by just knowing you no know, the the feature. So there's no perfect answer with this one, but I'd like to hear from your initial thoughts in mind now by volunteering. Oh, my student, I volunteer now. <laughs> volunteer if who would like to come by raising hand or by chatting in chat box if you'd like. Uh, audio or uh, one lang. Uh, anyone <laughs> Ma Ma Lang, you would like to share yes ma'am thank you um, yes sir wing for my end i am interested to learn this because for me this is a new thing and that would surely enhance my my way of sharing and sharing to my students and um it would also help me personally in improving also my skills and capabilities to teach the the subjects that i am handling every semester thank you thank you dr uh, Neng. so that's it no more on continuous on learning in the uh, Neneng, despite na veteran na kaya siya subject matter, no? kita padulong pa, ma'am Neneng, wana, niabot na. So, uh, he, she's still adapting with a new, with a new setup na to, no? So, understanding the new setup later, uh, which is, uh, we, we're in, ma'am Neneng is actually trying to cope up, no? With the, with the demands no? of this uh, te technology. Uh, I'd like to hear one more, or... One more who would like to volunteer? Nandito na po ito sa mga bata. Ma'am. Ay, wala yung bata nila. <laughs> uh, I'd like to hear from our, uh, si from our, isa lang, isa sa higher ed pa and isa sa lower, uh, basic ed. Uh, sa CBA department sa ta, we have uh, Ma'am. Ma'am Jess, you would like to 
Share what uh, are your initial motivation? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. So my initial uh, motivation in learning those different um, applications, different styles, is same with Dr. Nenning for continuous improvement, continuous learning. And then that is um, also very useful and needed for me to keep in touch with my students for con uh, for for class interaction um to get their attention and for um in order for your classes not to be boring and then to maintain classroom decorum thank you sir yes ma'am ma'am just thank you for that and i i believe no those things that you have enumerated could be one of the best features that that uh, a teaching learning one so that's your expectation might might be met later when we when we when i present to you the best features uh, however i'd like to disclaim as early as now that i will not be presenting apps the tools that is uh, another uh, another session tomorrow i think or this afternoon uh and there are a lot of tools and and uh, apps and softwares that will that will uh, that will help us no in delivering our features no our features so thank you for that ma'am Jezebel uh, last but not the least we have from our basic ed uh, sir rage Thank you, Sir Rage. Can you share to us what you what is your initial thoughts about about this uh, about this session? Thank you. Good morning, Sir Lowell. Um, for my answer, um, I guess the the reason why I also uh, motivated I am also motivated to learn about this, especially these best uh, teaching learning experiences, because as an educator, uh, uh, I would like also to improve in some areas because probably I am doing things that uh, probably sample I am using activities like this like that and through this uh, session probably I will also be able to know what are the others uh, what others are doing to have this uh, to have a good environment in their in their classes and that way I can also be improved and I could also be corrected, especially that we are still in the process of adjusting in this in this new setup. And that could be helpful as well since all of us are really new in in this in in this setup. And hopefully, hopefully after this uh, session I can also learn many things. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Saraj for that uh, insight, no? no. Again, uh, this is for our self-development, for our continuous uh, improvement, for us to deliver quality no, education to our uh, student. But I I'd like to share my thoughts also about this one because when I am assigned, no, with the, with the, with the, being the being the uh, key person who will be tackling no, about this topic, I tend to realize now what should be what what should be the, the our motivator not to not just knowing the best features but applying this one and realizing it's its ultimate goal no so our goal i'd like to call okay, this is a more on a macro level and another one is on a micro level so first is to contribute in the realization of our goals for country because our students when they graduated they, part, they form part of the citizen no, of this country and to the community uh, hoping that they are responsible and accountable citizens no, of this uh, country no, in contributing to the economy and to the nation building and being patriot no, to the country uh, and show their love no, for country. So, yung ginaana ang level sa ito ang uh, goals. No? And, of course, we wanted to contribute to the realization of the goals of the university, which is our BGMO, and and that uh, that that contribution is somewhat meaningful, should be meaningful to us, no, as uh, as as part of this institution, as part of 
the educator no, of this country. Second is, that's on the macro level, on the micro level, we wanted, this is actually a goal, no? this is a, one of the goals of the university, to nurture Lasallian, in particular, business and accounting professionals. How? Through our highest quality instruction possible for you, total human formation. And that is what we are advocating to our students. And knowing this essential feature, when we know them, when we apply them, when we deliver them, and let the students and us experience those features, I believe, and we should believe, that we should be realizing these goals. Now, the problem is, how are we going to, to measure, no? and how are we going to know that our goals were indeed achieved? No? So, number one is, uh, our problem in terms of um, uh, tracer, no? in terms of tracer study, and the data in terms of the employability of our graduates. Now, after they graduated, we need to know that uh, are, are my graduates employable? Are my graduates uh, were able to contribute to the country and to the society? What are they, what are they doing now? As, as as part of the profession in business and accounting, for example. And nurturing Lasallian business and accounting professionals, this is a new, sa una kay ang gigamit na tong term is we just produce Lasallian professionals. For now, we are using the term nurturing. We're in later, brother will be presenting the new VGMO. And what are our rubrics? No? There is actually a rubric on how are we going to uh, to evaluate ourselves if, if if we indeed able to nurture Lasallian, hindi eh, lang kay dito lang sa production at the end, but also from the time that we accepted the students until the time that they graduated, we continue to nurture uh, Lasallian values and education no, to our students. So, hoping that our Motivation is clear. and I, I believe you have your own personal level of motivation. But I do believe that uh, uh, if possible, we, we should recognize our contribution to the university, to the community, to the society, and of course, to our country. Our second agenda, our second topic is what is our current setup? Uh, our goal here is to for you to understand that Sa the environment that we are situated into, okay. So we have a number. I, I have few, few, uh, or few observations now based on our experience as a university all throughout the years. We have. I think this is our second year, right? 2020, 2021, and this is our third year now already of implementing the the online mode of uh, learning. So I, we, we cannot make excuse anymore. Nga. This is uh, this is uh, new. Gili na siya. New nga, as in new. <laughs> new siya, pero padulong na siya o padulong na siya normal. No? Siya, sa una, tawag pa tayo, mga new normal, nagabi pa tong stress in making adjustments, but we are expected now and the students are actually recognizing that our, that the teachers are Indeed, we're able to adapt na the the new setup, and the students also. If the na to, the students are also able to adapt with the with the new setup. No? So na na improvement, na improvement. But it doesn't mean that there's no more thing to things to improve on. So again, what is your understanding of our TL teaching learning? environment as of now. We need to understand what is the current situation. I'd like to hear in the pod from you. What are your initial thoughts? Before I will give you my my thoughts also because uh, I'd like the uh, interesting mapod ang inyong, ang, ang inyong thoughts and we, we learn from changing no ideas from each other. Okay? So I, I'd like to call on or we want to volunteer? I like that. Okay, I'm going to Okay, so, Ma'am Pry Pry? 
Ma'am April Rose. Thank you, Ma'am. Hello, good morning everybody. So, um, for me, no, as we move on with uh, this online setup, I believe we have dealt different experiences upon um, the teaching learning environment that we are uh, making use of. And I believe there are a lot of factors also that we have uh, identified along the way. Uh, I have just our one of my observations as uh, an educator is uh, the experience wherein my students cannot be able to uh, easily access no uh, the the uh, new modality because also of the uh, resources they lack to especially with the gadgets that they have or they currently have uh, the the internet connection or shall we say they have the internet connection we also experience an unstable internet connection most of the time. In fact, we also have experienced um, uh, power interruption from time to time, <laughs> wherein um, we are in the middle of our classes, but then uh, it might get separated because of the power interruption. Although we have um, provide different solutions by uh, extending the class or by rescheduling the class from a different time for us to be able to deliver well our um, our classes. Uh, I hope that uh, those uh, issues can be able also to at least um, be provided with solution, although I believe it's really a general concern. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. April Rose for that insight, no? I do agree in relation to the problems that we have, particularly in our uh, internet connectivity and our power uh, interruption. So by recognizing that and, and knowing that it is happening, uh, of course, we are expected to be more considerate with our, uh, with our student. Diba? So we we wanted nga kwan, and these are things that even us kita teacher are also experiencing, not just our uh, students. So with that, uh, we tend to extend our patience and extend our understanding to the students. And thank you, Ma'am April Rose, for yeah, uh, understanding them and giving them consideration by extending deadlines and of course rescheduling the 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 class if uh, so. Uh, one more from our basic ed, uh, Ma'am Nicole. Are you there, Ma'am Nicole Raagas? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, Ma'am. Thank you. For... Um, for me, sir, um, what is our current setup? I actually have this in mind that um, diligent ka ayoko happy with our current setup today because because of my gadgets. And then, um, especially, I have that in mind that when we do our discipline, I prefer to have it face to face and solve it with um with my audience, like the students. Unlike with the current setup today, that we we are just using the laptops and then have our solutions in our PowerPoint. So. I, I, for me, as, as I can assess my, myself, it is not enough for me to um, impart my knowledge about, my, about a certain topic. So, um, honestly, I, I really have that um, difficulties embracing the current setup since I, I prefer to have my discussion in face-to-face -face manner but but because of the different online platforms um i started to or i started to i started to um have it kind of it, um, accept um accepted the fact that um for the safety of my students I I really have to ko ano lang to accept that na 
our our discipline na, na lang jadi embrace na lang jadi ngato ang set up today nga online but then um i prefer to have it in face to face mo jud na ako ang ko an that is really my realizations even before na i i can release assess my my teaching kanang in face to face manner so that's it thank you thank sir you. Thank you, Ma'am Nicole, no, for that. I I do agree, no, I do agree. Face to face, we cannot really eliminate uh, face to face, but uh, because of the situation that we are experiencing, the, the pandemic, we are forced, no, with the situation uh, to migrate uh, on in our online. No? So I I I I relate with your, I can relate with your frustration. Atong 2020, <laughs> I can relate with that. Uh, However, as time goes by, I tend to realize and and go on, no? and learn to accept the the new normal matod pa. And there are, I, I hope that you could, as we go along with the conference, you could be able to find alternative ways aside from face to face. Murag, ang face to face will be will be used only for us to boost our to boost our social para mag nawala god ah, ang social aspect of learning kay dili ta kakita silang eyes nga nag nga nag nakalearn di ba we cannot di ba nga nakalearn we don't know that they are confused because we do not see them di ba even if nag open cam sila but sa tuwa wala naka-open kay tungod kay ang internet connectivity dili ingin ana kakusog no so uh, those are things nga na ko I, I hope that that we should be able to find alternatives rather than uh, rather than being uh, uh, ba, mag, out of frustration nga oy it should be face to face it should be face to face mura ginana no The, the demand for face to face is true to teacher and to even to student we want we wanted face to face also actually. thank you for that ma'am nicole and with that uh i enumerated a few few setups uh, as what i have mentioned kaganiha currently we are now revising and redrafting our vgmo and ilos for in, in, institutional learning outcomes which is for me as an, a, a, an essential part of our motivation in achieving that uh, that goals and objective okay so we might not very particular no with the, with the goals and objective murag na na diha pabutang sa introduction ang ato ang BGMO and ILO but as an administrator i tend to realize that what should be what we are doing should be in line with that goal na murag na abitaw purpose sense of purpose ang atong gipanghimo and And with that, uh, we we need to uh, set our minds. Nga, Ay, I'm doing this because I want to realize this. Not just for the sake na I like it, the students like it, without any direction. Nga, Ay, wala detoy, wala detoy value ang imuhang, uh, imuhang efforts, for example. So having a clear BGMO and ILOs, uh, when I reflected on the new set uh, set up aning uh, and the revised objectives i i tend to look into uh, the art that it is more uh it can be more realized sa ato ang klase no? and very clear kahit na uh, very clear na kayo ang ato ang vgmo and ilos okay? I, i will not uh, spoil the vgmo and ilo later in the afternoon we will be reading it Brother will be presenting it, the, even the rationalization of the VGMO and ILOs, and they are asking us. Uh, uh, they are asking us not to reflect on what are our thoughts also of the VGMO and ILOs. Second is of course katogi pang mention ni Ma'am April Rose and ni Ma'am Nicole about the availability of digital resources, both the teacher and the student, like our gadgets for example our internet connectivity for example we have conducted a, a survey way back 20 uh, 2021 no in relation to 
that no so I, i'd like to share quickly about it para lang na may idea unsa dia ato ang setup sa ato ang internet and ato ang gadget so there are 122 responses both teachers and uh, students for teachers we have 86 teachers faculty and 800 plus students with their addresses and this is the faculty side okay so itanaw na to majority ang ato ang a gadget is naka laptop and naka pc that's about almost all of us 93 percent by laptop 10 percent by pc so uh the problem is uh, there are also a lot owning smartphone pwede po nga i example ako i have pc i have laptop i also have uh smartphones but i hope that teachers do have a laptop and a pck ang smartphone very difficult to uh, navigate na in terms of presentation and in terms of okay na siguro kung discussion na magyawayo lang kadira without any presentation but uh but it can be doable naman gihapon di ba so 87 percent but in uh in uh in our internet connectivity strong but limited to so only 64 percent is, uh, is confident no of the uh, internet con connectivity even us teacher ako naka for example naka uh PLT fiber man so dili gani siya 100 percent assurance na very very strong but dili siya stable no dili siya always stable nga to the to the point nga confident ta nga there's no interruption okay so there are uh, we are grateful that LSU is uh, providing us allowance no, for data. Diba? So, we uh, one time na per semester at least. Happy, ya, po, na, at least naa. Ka, no? So, second is the uh, student side. I want to understand, uh, let's understand the situation of our learners. No? So, ako lang example ang ABM, ay ang business and accountancy for the, of the college don't have data for the senior high no? so so 25 percent strong 25 another 28 percent limited to messenger and fb only so if we add the total okay if we can open if we can open messenger and facebook it means that we can open canvas however the problem is attending Tidowa and uh, through Google Meet because it is very difficult. I experience if mag, uh, mag brown out, for example, tapos mag data lang sa cell phone, it is very frustrating to join online class na naka LTE lang or naka 3G. Samo ta 3G din, again, to join. But if LTE, maka-join, makadungog gamay sa, sa audio, uh, and you opt mag mag kwan siya ba mag choppy mag choppy so dili problem sa sa teacher but problem gyud sa imuhang gadget a student if naka cellphone lang uh, that's why we don't uh, mo exit na lang no so and dako siya nga chunk no sa ato ang students nga dili jud taas og internet uh, connectivity <clears throat> so knowing that Knowing that uh, situation sa to ang student, we need to consider that one in their in our learning experiences. Kanili lang tanaka solely based on Google Meet experiences, for example, because it it kwan it demands uh, kwan no? high 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 level of high level of internet uh, connectivity so probably we could we could search later sa mga, mga mga examples of tools and apps that will not require high level and we could reflect na there are things na dili lang panindutay og apps og tools but dito ta mubawi sa content 
later we will we will look into the content nga sa content yun guys nga dili ayun na pag frustrate nga unsa man ang apps unsa man ang ako ang pagwapaho na ako kung canvas unsa man ang ako ang dili ni siya con, uh, dili siya all about beautification it's all about the very core essence of learning na mo nang dili kay uh, as an as a dean and program head so wala kay ko nag emphasize about beautification of canvas uh Uh, using of various apps, complicated apps, whatsoever. But dito dyan pa dalong sa content. No? Content to share. Later, uh, we will emphasize that one in our future. Uh, another one, aside, sa, aside of course with the PC, with the internet connectivity, we also have the capability. No? That's why we are continuous paghapon natong training with the With the, with the use of of these digital tools how much more satong student no uh, they are they are exploring all by themselves but mind you our students are more techy no with than us actually so they can they can navigate and they can explore more than us no they are open open to more exploration and learning than us actually uh, our third setup is We are grateful that Lasalle University is subscribing the use of Canvas as our learning management system. The, the problem again is our capability. We, we're not yet able to use Canvas on, on its maximum potential. On its maximum potential, because we don't have yet that capability. I'm not even an expert. I cannot even say that I am an expert sa Canvas, although we are being tagged as. mga edotech chums whatsoever chums chums and a lot of various uh, webinar kaning mga inaaning mga conference and webinars being taught in the canvas but it cannot be learned in just one hour nga <laughs> ko ano continuous ang atong learning and it is uh, two years naman ning labay probably we can get a hold of hold of the canvas thing no? ang basics we can we can set up the basics na of Uh, canvas and of course our students are able not to navigate easily with the canvas they don't have any problem is except of course if the teacher was not able to set up the canvas on its intended purpose like for example uh, a teacher nag uh, wala ka balong uh, wala pa na publish for example so if wala na publish di ka na makita sa student pag publish deadline na or nila pa sa sa deadline so the student cannot submit so that, those are uh, technical issues and problems na can be avoided if uh, kwan lang ta no kabalota sa uh, if we have capable of understanding the canvas itself no and there are there are various ways also to beautify the canvas there kita pa jud ko mga nindot jud ayo nga mga canvas nga wala pa gyud na present actually But uh, that's not uh, on my end. I don't want nga mao na atong focus. We will go back to our main purpose as as an as a professor, as an instructor. Na balik na sa focus nga about goal, no? About sa atong goal. Whether whether we are online, face to face, offline, our goal should not change. The manner that we deliver. Dito lang nag-change. No? From offline, from face-to-face, -face, we migrated online. So whether offline, guys, face-to-face, -face, online, our goal is the same. Di wala dito nag-change ang ato ang goal. And that is for, of course, quality instruction no, sa ato ang student. So thank you, Ma'am Lorilyn, for that comment. Focus on the goal, di ba? So yeah. Ayo, do not lose focus sa to ang goal. But if your goal is to beautify your canvas, then that's we have a problem with that, no? Kung kana ato ang napanindot tayo yung tag canvas, pagwapahay yung tag canvas. Yes, that's one, but do not lose track, no, with our main goal. Okay na nga, side by side, na-achieve ni mo ang goal na ito ang main goal, plus nindot pa dyan kaya ito ang canvas. Okay, okay. The more nindot atong canvas, the more siya magloading sa parts of student. So, kuhan siya. No? Nasa po siya problem sa kanina. But then, problem sa ito ang digital infrastructure no? in terms of connectivity, which is out of control na nato. Fourth setup is 
quality of our teachers and learners. A good thing sa tong teacher, we can quali we can measure the quality by enumerating the credentials, for example, when we hire them, when we interview them, and of course, when they when they are open for continuous uh, trainings like this one, and continuous education like like sa CBA, they're open. <laughs> Bisag dili kayo open, pero na-open na lang yun, na mo continue og study in our masteral, uh, master uh, that's the minimum requirement in our uh, postgraduate, no, doctoral degree, uh, they are open no, for for uh, continuous gahapon na study. The problem na to, guys, is ang atong learners. Quality of learner. Because uh, our setup, as of now, sa LSU, we have open admission. Now, if open admission, it means that the learners has the freedom lang to to be admitted in the university as long as they will pay the 3,000 pesos and they will uh, submit the requirements in the registrar that they are grad indeed graduate of as senior high school students. I don't know with the basic ed, what are your your requirements for admitting senior high ABM students. Uh, and and we're in fact, with the open admission, the problem is whether ABM ka, whether non-ABM ka, you are still admitted sa CBA. Now, before before online, what we did is among the separate section. No? We have separate section for ABM students. We have separate section for non-ABM students. Because we don't have any data in terms of their college readiness. We don't have. We don't have entrance exam. No, we don't have their uh, score, di ba? College yet, uh, score sa una, para kami sa una, ka nag, kuha, no? qualified ba ko mag-accountancy, for example? Qualified ba ko mag-business, for example? Uh, there is a level of score na dapat mo i-obtain in na, the physiological test, di ba? Ito mga test ni Mohang intellectual capability for example so wala now that's our problem because uh, uh, however what we did sa Mohang department is we make sure that we cluster our st student accordingly no? pag accountancy sa accountancy rin siya na section ayun isa sa goalie o business pag business FM financial management FM rin po siya na section Walay MM diya masagol. No? So that our instruction will be focused and dapat uh, ma-relate siya po sa iyahang profession which is ang, uh, sa iyahang specialization which is ang financial management which is ang uh, marketing or sa accounting. No? So, yun ana ang dagan. Or even mga HM students na pariha, mag na pariha ng accounting ang HM o ang business uh, usually we separate. No? Even uh, hospitality management and even tourism management, we separated the section so that na I focus in terms of context, no, sa to ang lessons. Okay, so what that's what we did, that's what we do. However, if possible, now they open admission. Now, we will not admit those students who are not ready for college. Kada lang ang tama nga minimum screen, no, minimum screening one sa to ang. University, okay? because once we accepted them, that's our responsibility. Na dayon, okay? that's our responsibility to to up until graduation or or sa kabalo natang adi cannot survive college. We accepted them, di ba? So murag, that's 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 a an inherent problem already. Last, I think, but not the least. Is that our adaptation of learning experiences model? Do you know our learning experiences model? Kung saan ito tong learning experiences model? Naka remember, naka familiar ka ni Wani, ma'am? Sir? Brother, it is the, kung ano, it's brother's actually approval and idea about our learning experiences model since 2020 pa, no? 2020, 2021, up until now, wala nag-change. Except some operational changes. No? So, the model is, natin ito, no? learning experience model. 
that we promise to deliver to our student. Number one is our is the learning through independent study. That the student will independently study through the use of learning module. Una ito ang gihaguan ng learning module so that the student can independently learn at his own time, at his own pace. Diba? Second, na ito ang promise is they will experience learning through interaction with others. That's the purpose ganong naatay TIDOA. Teacher-Directed Online Activity. Okay? The problem is, time misconception. The students, na ay expectation gap. Na wala, parang wala kina-explain sa student. O wala pong kina-explain sa teacher. So, the teacher is forced na ang TIDOA, instead na for interaction with the teacher or inter the students' interaction with each other, ay nahita mo na teacher discusses the lesson in the TIDOA. Now, that is not for lecture purpose, but for interaction purpose. And third is we have the kanigan ang mura o dili kaya siya formal or not so wala kaya siya na wala kaya siya mura na, re, na, na enforce o, I don't know if the student know this, but they know but, but mura wala kaya nilagi utilize. Ang, ang third learning experience and that is mentoring or we call that one the consultation. Mentoring or consultation in terms in or in case that the problem uh, if the student has problems or obstacles in their academic uh, in their academic journey so like for example last year my clarification what the student do diba mo message mo sa inbox what the teacher do mo reply sa inbox ang problem is 13 daghan na kay sa inbox 1000 nakabuk na sa inbox so dili siya mo replyan that's a problem because there's no feedback from the teacher. Ang next solution is to create a discussion board sa ito ang uh, subject or sa ito ang courses dito sa Canvas. And there's a discussion board there. State your concern, concern there. Every, and the teacher expected to reply every Thursday for CBA, 1 to 4 p.m. And that's 3 hours per week. Wala tong promise nila. Some students, dili mo pa dito kay sumaulaw daw kay makita sa uban or na po uban o PM even messenger to the point ka dito sa personal messenger or sa email mo send now ang problem sa student is gusto nila ma-reply yan dayon and the teachers uh one po also kadang ila pong remind ang student nga do not expect nga mo-reply at the at the middle of the night na nag-inquire ka diha ning mo-replyan ka no so so no po na ang mga communication barriers na na experience as we adapt the learning experience model. So, katontolo. And we intend to continue the model. Wala nag-change ang model. The same gihapon. Except there are few improvements that we injected into. Number one, nga gigilahan yung kaya student, o gigilahan po ng teacher, is the extension of our TIDOA. No? From 25 minutes, Nahimo na siyang 35 minutes per week. And the, the, with that change, the student upload, uh, commended and uploaded us with that decision. Uh, second, uh, for CBA, I highly encourage, especially sa accountancy, we we did supplemental online class. Good. Wala, wala mi sa tidawa na klase, but we have a different time slot and schedule to lecture discussion kay especially mga professional courses mga technical courses that dili gyud madala og independent study so sa on nilang independent study gyud madala no they need teacher to to clarify and validate their understanding all of, over the subject matter so balik kon lang basa ang libro they cannot really understand it that's why na ang teacher so but i will not i didn't even require that to, to my to my teacher optional na lang siya no? sa business or sa accountancy but i i'm happy that actually most of my teacher are doing supplemental uh, classes and feedback is very clear sa students no? in terms of 
in terms of I, I actually conducted a survey in terms of this learning experiences model last 2021 and now 2022 of course ang ilang evaluate ana is ang previous semester so gamay lang asya I, I like to spend time ani gamay lang so i actually ang schedule ako no kay 1 hour and 45 minutes so 1 hour intended nga for me to discuss with kamopod a collaboration ang remaining 45 to uh, 30 to 45 minutes no? so uh, bear with me muna so let's start with kaning 2021 nga survey um this survey is conducted to all CBA students uh ma'am Nicole you're raising and or wala i'm sorry sir okay okay so by ubay ang responses we have 1583 responses each student will respond a uh, one response for for every subject na ang student can handle tanga nga yang gi-enroll so yang gi-evaluate ang student ang problem na ko ani is wala na ko na summarize Og wala pa na ko na communicate sa kong faculty for them to for them to diba mo na nindot sa nai evaluation for feedbacking and for continuous improvement again no so i don't uh, wala ko kakita og time so karon ako na siyang i-present so first time siya nakita sa mga faculty so we have the students here and then the program so all programs na I, I even included the 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 graduate school Okay, I'm handling my graduate school, so ako silang gi survey po as their feedback sa, sa subject. And yeah, your level. Then the ang course, ngayon gi evaluate the subjects. Okay. Then the, even the instruct, instructor, mo na ang problem kay wala na ko siya na sort out per instructor, per subject, pila ang rating ato. Then ang comments sa mga, sa, sa mga teacher. No? Tapil pa ganyan taga-kaso nga. Ako lang i-require pa isang CBA, no? So, overview. So, I have here. I don't know if you will treat this one as feature of learning experience. But, uh, but what I did here is actually an evaluation sa instructor. Because I want to hear from student if na by peculiar or unusual na feedback from them. Kalos araw man mahimong unusual if if ang graph na to makita mas dako si 1 og 2 kaysa si 5 og 4. Wala ang unusual and I will attend that matter as as soon as possible. But I am happy that my instructor are very 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 awesome ng mga instructor no nga wala jud labad sa ulo. Kung kamo ba, ba din dili mo maglabad sa instructor no sa CBA but dito mo sa student magsige og Push. Dito ang focus sa uh, student and dito ang focus sa, uh, of course, mga administrative functions sa uh, program head and din. Pero sa instructor, grabe ang, ang kuwana na. No? Wala, wala, wala yung labad and wala yung daghang kuwa. No? When you make an instruction, automatic. Ilan gina, sila gina, ilan ang gina. I really commend my CBA instructors for uh, very job well done. Dyan, wala yung, <laughs> I'm happy nga kuwana na ginana ang ako ang mga instructors no so rehan eh mga 54 am kuan because the instructor uh was well prepared for class o oh, di ba and take note that's over a thousand na response and all although na ang hapon jud like 23 so uh this might we might look into it if on the individual level no mo na akong ipakita ko sa individual level but since si ma'am Kasi si Ma'am Pray Pray, lahi day ang ihang kuwan on individual level. But this one is more on an aggregate level na sila tanan across all subjects. Mao ni ang kuwan. No? So ang ako ara bang kuwan ani ang when I conduct a survey, ang ako ang tolerable level is if possible, dili mulapas og 10%. Mulapas gyud ang 10%, it means that I need to look into it. Kabot pa sabot, if mulapas pa dig 10% ang uh, uh, well prepared for class, but pa sabot fair or poor ang imuhang preparation sa class, it means na there's something wrong. I need to uh, tell my teacher to 
prepare na. To prepare and do, and do outstanding sa preparation sa class, for example. Or at least very satisfactory, di ba? Individual class meetings are all, again, preparation, meeting, the class, okay? So the same, the same trend. Time, effective use of time, okay? Laraning lapas again. We have uh, organized, well prepared, use class, class time efficient. Uh, communication, no problem. Uh, student participation, no problem. Instructor presented course material in clear manner that facilitated understanding, no problem. Effectively organized, facilitated, well-run learning activities. No problem. Instructors' teaching methods were effective. Okay, there's a problem here, Gamay. The, uh, because uh, this is the time that the students are in range with the number of activities. No? And uh, and we tend to to address that one by giving them uh, uh, a minimal number of activity or uh, essential number of activities na enough lang sa katong number of hours na ginabudget. Okay? So, na-solve na pa niya ng issue, no? So, teaching methods were, so, kaya yun, mga methods of teaching, no? Like, na puros manggod, like, for example, atong nga time, 2021 man, eh, uh, the, the modules up, uploaded were all text pa, no? Mga mga wag wag dili pagi wala pagi dili pagi enhance sa kato ang modules during ani ani ka time no so simulation of kuan subject matter no? so ay lapas na pagi may uh, feedbacking mo ginang problem so as taas po siya gamay uh, because uh, we have a problem sa to ang feedback grades are late for example so di ka na assess uh, they cannot evaluate themselves what are the things that it to move on the the quizzes scores are turned in late again because uh delete man ang computer may mag check ang can, if canvas mag check hindi dali ra kayo ang score pero if instructor mag check do kay kayo because you will read their inputs di ba their, you need to read and assess their inputs and daghan kay daghan kay kag estudyante Eh, dili man pwede nga imula na basta basta mo tanga ng score. You need to evaluate and reflect on their feedbacks. So, mo na ang problem. Lugay daw ang feedback. So, provided time, ay, ba? timely manner, helpful feedback, no? Uh, some students are appreciated uh, feedback. Kanang comments mo tau, like, job well done. They, they, are, they are happy with that, no? Mahalag dili dili ano so, mura siya uplifting daw no pero dili helpful kay lahi mo tong helpful gud nya kabalo kang ano gani ra imong score what are the things that you need to improve on sa imong submission so that's the the thing uh, lacking no? sa sa feedbacking ato nga gipangita okay return of assignments and exam in a timely manner okay so usually dili kay nya nakataas pero na nice 99% kay apon uh, updated an accurate the platform okay personal connection part 2 okay the explanation and illustration of course concepts feedback to me was helpful and improved in understanding the material okay access outside scheduled class time for additional help okay tas tas siya gamay mo tusabot na di mo na ang mention ka ganiha na 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 di ka na reach out their teacher outside sa class kay uh, there are problem uh, there are reasons na no? itabo ang time kan timing kanusa sila nag-message uh, kaduha is daghan kay nakabaklag message nag asa tagsaon pa nato og tan-aw no uh, instructor was available to students no so the same gapon task gap sa 10% uh, when i need it okay 10% gapon Instructor cared about students. Okay, na feel man lang ato ang care. Uh, progress, successful course completion. Okay, so usually dili na sa tolerable ra seven percent. Welcoming, inclusive learning environment. 
instructor treated student with respect sa materials in complement atong lecture readings and assignment okay sa pa na sila okay na sila okay materials books reading handouts study guides lab manuals multimedia software increase my knowledge okay no problem text and assigned readings were valuable okay no problem workload is five hours or one and a half week per modules okay so almost like 10 percent course workload and requirements were appropriate okay appropriate now uh underlying concepts okay organized in a manner that helped me understand underlying concepts course assignment readings assigned problems videos facilitated my learning okay Assigned readings help me understand the course material. Okay. Graded assignment help me understand the course material. Okay, rapod. Test assessment accurately. As so, kabantay mo. Uh, our 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 delivery sa instruction. Dili kasi wala kasi problem nga nakita. Wala kasi problem nga nakita sa kuwan. No? The students are actually. Uh, uh, sa, uh, satisfactory very satisfactory ang ilang remarks in terms of uh, delivery sa to ang modules no? so about follow even following course syllabus wala kay sila like, kuan you mention uh, fair or poor performance actually na kay nana gid ang hand trend okay engagement tapo kay engagement no? so this one ang student ta pag decide ang ipagtana did you attend class regularly? So, taas kayo ang kwa, no? So, this is expected because of the, ato, ang tong mention na the availability, no, of, of digital resource, no? Probably, tungod sa internet connection, maka-frustrate, or wala kay appropriate gadget. So, muna taas-taas yun siya. I consistently prepared for class. So, the student na side niya, so, prepared siya sa class. So, murag dili yung inana, kaparehag trend sa faculty, sa, sa instructor. Okay? Naradari sa kwaan satisfactory level so but pas about they recognize that they have their own problems too so dili lang siya sa teacher nga problem sa teacher murag satisfied very satisfactory lang remarks pag about silang self dito sila more nakulangan no so so this is a good reflection sa ila nga oy i should prepare for my class outstandingly soon uh, next time so for example ay nana ang yahang ang ato ang messaging ani nga uh, na survey no I have to put a great deal of effort, di ba? So, aside sa preparation, effort na yung ka in learning. So, again, na yung pagka-flat rin na pita gamay sa satisfactory, uh, sa very satisfactory or outstanding, they are not satisfied no, with their effort. So, munang, yan na. So, kani, okay po nang iyahang trend. Uh, so, in this course, I have been challenged. So, always, sa about the major nato professional courses nato the field challenge no sa mga concepts and sa mga activities no? so i was able to manage my time and follow personal schedule okay okay ang, ang scheduling okay independent mode i was able to adapt independent mode of learning especially nga naanal sila last time sa face to face grabe atong spoon uh, spoon feeding uh, methods na to, grabe ato ang lecture discussion. This time, they are independently learning. And itanaw ni mo, uh, they are not even kuan nga outstanding yun sila tadan or very satisfactory. So, mura o uh, some others are okay lang. No? Like, for example, kanin, tas taas na ang fair and poor. It means na some of our students have not yet able to adapt yun na the, the independent mode of learning. So, we have here the structure this class has increased my interest in the field of study so the more on their motivation diba? so if they have uh increased by lang interest sa field of study accountancy sa financial management maka or sa marketing and yeah really kaya nga naka standing daghan ga ang very very satisfactory and confidence to add, to do more advanced work okay so, pili ka nang yan ako an na pod, no? So more on na in between sa very satisfactory and 
satisfact uh, outstanding no so i believe that i am being asked to learn this course is important okay di ba so we recognize that important ang subject no so the readings were appropriate for the goals of the one okay so no problem po sila na written assignment contributed to my knowledge of the course material di ba so they appreciated nga oy uh, this is for my growth no sa iyang professional koan endeavor nga increase ang iyang competence through knowledge uh, contribution sa iyang knowledge expectations for students learning were clearly defined okay so leveling of expectations ni and katong uh, the goal no so i think okay ra pa naman student eh. uh, assessment okay okay ra pud sila no sa quizzes exams projects and graded work exam assignments were fairly assessment of my knowledge of the course material okay ra pud ang land trend grading practices were clearly defined so always may balik balik no we have our class record two third one third 70 percent passing rate we and we fully understand that one no so, and i don't find any problem with the, with this one uh fair grading practices okay okay po dan trend examination project measured my knowledge of the course material okay po no the course was challenging as expected no more you know uh this course made me think Okay. Okay, po. Nakating kita sila. Overall rating, I would recommend this instructor to other student. So, okay, okay po ang trend. Overall, ang trend is uh, as expected. I would recommend this instructor to others. Overall, instructor instructor meet my expectations for quality of a uh, of a LSU teacher. Okay. Overall, this course met my expectation for quality of an LSU course. Okay, this course had high educational impact. Bang. Okay, po. No, this course useful in the progress towards my degree. Okay, so that I have open-ended questions also being mentioned as part seven recommendation for them to improve the course. In the chat, tali do ko ako judi siyang nahatag sa kong mga teachers and na na hatag ang individual results sa ilaha. But I don't have it. Kwan, wala, wala na ko siya na na tagadam. Actually, nindot po ganun siya as a result of a research. Okay, well, ito, ito yung manakunin for research purposes. Again, uh, tama na rin siya sa pag-gather sa data. Wala na rin to sa results and discussion and conclusion and recommendation. No? So, I, I hope na uh, makatime ta karon to to communicate clearly this one to my teacher as an individual level. No? So, dahil mga inaanin ng mga recommendations and Usually, na ay mga nindot nga recommendation, na mga non lang ibutang. And three specific things about the course or instructor that specially help to support the, your learning. So, more, more on experience kaya po nila, no? So, di ba? You wanted an approachable teacher, for example, communication, kay Anna. So, okay po nang ihang ko, ano, mga, mga, mga non, mga open-ended questions strengths of the course okay parts of the course were aided your your learning the most what are the three specific things about the course that could be improved better support student learning diba? so maka reflect kita in terms of the students feedback diba? obstacles improve your learning and that ends no the the survey in relation to 2021 to siya guys at uh, 2021 so uh, that's uh second semester of 2020 2021 so, uh, first semester day first semester of 2020 2021 napunta isa first semester of 2021 and 2022 i just conducted this one kay ang problem ang good ato nga, nga survey is it is an evaluation sa ko ang teacher sa subject o reflection sa student. Now, ang ako ang topic karon is all about the best feature of learning experience. So, I cannot assume nga kato nga mga kato nga mga results are actually a satisfactory is a satisfactory experience sa mga students. So I want to hear the student side 
when they look into their experience sa sa learning teaching learning experiences so dahapon na ako na siyang i-conduct na study and serving ako na po siyang i-share gamay no, no before ta mo proceed sa last no survey on student experience yeah this one There are 693 enrolled CBA students and we're able to gather 308 responses. So good gabi eh. up until ganiha 6 a.m. actually no. Magulo na ko siya i-share para ko ano para ang timeline is okay, no? So divided accordingly sa program. So i start i compare siya itali pa niya if how many participants were able to complete based on the kwan i based on the total population kada program year level di ba nindot kisya pagka distribute pod represented across all year level tapos okay overall satisfaction kani man are you satisfied no Overall satisfaction levels of the learning experiences in LSU. And there are three learning experiences that we promised to them. Independent study using learning modules in the canvas. So, if you look into it, may lapas mag 10% ang ato ang below satisfactory. So, may lapas, no? So, we need to look into nga, what's your problem? What's your problem sa ito ang learning modules di hapon, no? Nga 2022 na. Uh, there are still students who are not satisfied. No? So, and for me, it's material enough to look into. Okay, 13% siya. Yeah. Okay? TOA, our TIDOA, 7.8. Tat, ano ba diba ang effect sa ito ang TIDOA? Nagatong gi-extend ito siya from 25 to 35 minutes. They are satisfied. Less than 10% ang not satisfied. Diba? Consultation or mentoring? No, di ba? Dubai, ubay gin siya. 12% ang unsatisfied. Why? Because as what I have said, the problem is either wala ka ba lang student kaya naadi ay mentoring or the teacher was not able to address the issue on a timely manner. So there are specific satisfaction level na we mentioned and I could say nga, it could be their experience in terms of their learning experience using the learning module in the canvas. So we have here, okay, the course material are logically, sequentially, and orderly in guiding you to the content. So that's what we did in our learning modules when we make a prerequisite. No? Prerequisite of the course, they cannot continue if they cannot complete module one, for example, or they cannot complete a certain requirement in the module before they can next and uh, they can proceed to next module and based on result less than 10 percent what about they're satisfied with the with the arrangement of our of our course material Cor course material adequately include multimedia nga to nga mga nga mga tools di ba so if tanaw na to less than 10 percent tapon wala na kayo tay text, ang oba, nag videos through YouTube, they like it, they like pre-recorded videos or even post-recorded videos, basta kay ma-upload lang sa canvas and for them to 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 view the videos at their own convenient time and pace o kanan na kung balik-balik ko nilang view. Learning modules are published on or before schedule, kaya mamunin ang problem ngayon nila nga, dugay na ma-publish ang oban, but only 5% are not satisfied. So, but pasabot, uh, our teachers are publishing their modules on schedule. Okay? Uh, learning modules are designed to be completed within five hours. Okay, panahon ni Moni, that's uh, 14%. But pasabot, still, there are still teachers who, who, who was not yet able to reflect on nga kanina nga module, mahuman gini siyang five hours. Kaya mahuman ko na itong giingon nila nga. It's one and a half week. And take note, there's Imuhan subject, dili lang imuhan subject. So, as much as possible, from learning the content, complying the complying your activities up until assessment, mo konsum siya og five hours, tanan-tanan. Okay? 
However, this is a case-to-case basis. Kaya naman dyan po ay concepts or topic na lisod sabton o kulang pa nila ang five hours to absorb the material. No? So especially ato ang subject. No? So it's quite understandable nga complicated. Eh? As what I have said, kung independent study, they cannot really absorb the, the very concept. Kinahanglan nila o kinahanglan nila ang validation. Yung term nila is validation from the teacher if they indeed uh, if they indeed learn the concept as intended di ba so kada lang no nay mga around 14% lang man nga so dili po siya super dako no so pero ning lapas siya sa ato ang tolerable no which is 10% this one also enough time to Uh, complement uh, is enough to complement the learning of lessons ang atong activities okay activities include discussion of topics okay mo ganiha okay less than okay okay ato ang assignment practice exercises research uh, quizzes and exams are designed to assess your learning and use as primary basis of your performance the grade computation yeah they are satisfied critical thinking kanina po kay ang goal gina to nga unsa ilang outcomes no ka one of the outcome is our student should be a critical thinker for example problem solver for example and they can uh, they have these analytical skills in solving those problems so that's less than uh, that's five percent so what is about our activities are geared towards our goal Uh, activities and assessment are sharpened by are sharpened by communication, collaboration, negotiation skills. Another less than 10%, 6% only. So but they're satisfied with the activities and assessment na they indeed able to to sharpen their skills. IT digital skills. They are, they are very satisfied with that. No? 4.9% are unsatisfied with their IT digital skills because, of course, our requirements are more online. The analysis are made through the sp- spreadsheets, for example. And dapat ay mga requirements to, to, for them to become more creative by by designing work arts, for example, or whatsoever, ng mga research, like, for example, and uh, using digital tools. No? That's why they appreciated those requirements. Uh, Sharpened by professional skills, kaya generic na kaya professional skills in accounting, business, and or management. That's less than 10%, 5% ang unsatisfied. Now, sa Forte Dova, regularly scheduled, okay? Regularly scheduled. They are conduct, we are conducting TOA. The Dova time frame, 25-35 minutes weekly is sufficient. They are, even if naka-35 minutes na ang 2022, Still, 12% is not yet even satisfied. Kulangan, gila po kayo. Why? Because they wanted nga ang Tidowa mag-discuss o mag-lecture ang teacher. Which is not enough. Yet. Even sa kami sa accountancy, one hour, two hours we'll discuss. Ang sudyante, mga yung pag-aning nga, murag dili pa sila, murag dili pa enough para sa ilaha nga in one hour and two hours, mahuman na itong uh, topic. For them, Well, take note sa unang panahon, sa unang panahon. During face to face, it's three hours a week. Na kita kita sa classroom ito, di ba magtigi yun sa class three hours a week. Yeah, to the point nga nahimo na siya 25 with the teacher. Take note sa unang three hours a week. MWFTTH. Magkita face to face with teacher. So murag kada nandaan murag nandis something kwan. Because ah, uh, although na ay independent learning nga mura og taas magiging ng independent learning, ang kulang daw nila is ang validation. Like for example, submit lang assignment, but wala ay immediate feedback. Dili para habit sa face-to-face. Na, submit your assignment, exchange papers with your classmate, to check your answer, bang, feedback. Dito sa dayon, bagsak, pasar, perfect, whatsoever. That's that's what that's what they miss, no, sa nga, nga, but we can, we can deliver more Uh, do more about anang uh, ano. so in relation to time frame uh, balik-balik na ako sa estudyante nga Tidowa is not a replacement for lecture it's not for lecture but it's for interaction purpose Tidowa is adequately planned and structured okay they're satisfied although although for 
sabo aha sa administrative function uh, when we say plan and structure and structured we require the teachers to submit a document para bitong pod sa sa learning modules nga oh submit mo og kuan kaning module for documentation purposes although wala to pero the students are satisfied with the modules pero pag sa documentary requirements eh, di ba ang teacher maghimo pa siya og kato sa word malhin na sa sa canvas kapo di man tato indirect sa canvas so mga anak bitaw nga Nga, nga, nga notion. But at least we have evidence that they are, that the students are satisfied with the, the DOA. Nga. It is planned and structured. The, the teacher came in the DOA and as I, kama lang siya ang sayong niya dito. Okay, the DOA is more reinforced and complement my learnings. Yes. Uh, reinforce and complement, oh, malik, malik. Make me interact with my teacher. Interact ba? 5%. Interact with my classmate, 7%. Mara gilig kayo interaction with classmate, mara more on interaction with 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 teacher. Huh? So sa consultation or mentoring, consultation is able to address my academic struggles. Panawa, it's almost 15%. Why? Because atong i-explain ako ng inherent problem. The, the, the feedbacking from teachers came late or the teacher do not reply at all. Sometimes I message, maabot ako niya nga. Maabot ako nga. Sir, wala. Dugay na ako nag-message sa Canvas inbox, sa messenger, sa email. Wala dyan reply. So, ingon, ingon ako nga, balik ang email. Kung wala gihapon, PM na ako sa teacher. Ma'am, pakicheck na kung kuhanin. Samot na kung ang concern is very, uh, kung ano, very important ang concern. Pero kung not so important lang, I can explain naman with the student. Even without the reply na sa teacher, they're okay mo lang po sila. No? So, consultation is time, uh, consultation is time schedule 3 hours per week. Every Thursday ang schedule sa CBA is sufficient and adequate. Okay, 10%. Okay. About sa tolerable ko. I don't know if uh, if they know that one, but I think anytime na I struggle, anytime po sila mo message, sa teacher. But what is expected is if within ka di, sa consultation time, the teachers are expected to reply within that time also. Okay? Or, or at least two hours from the time na ng comment ka. Okay? So, ang nahita mo, Annie, the, the teachers will just waiting. Will, the teachers are waiting for the students to consult with them. So, we wanted to improve this one by making the teacher will be the one to reach out to those students that they see and know nga na ay struggles by looking at the results sa mga quizzes, nga nung wala siya submit-submit, nga nung bagsak siya sa mga quizzes, for example. Pero wala may data ang teacher anak, kaya wala pa siya ka-check, wala pa, wala pa, wala pa siya kakuha, so wala siya data, wala pa siya kakuha, so maghulat siya sa student kung usayahang, usayahang concerns or struggles, no? So, teacher mentor is able to respond in a timely manner. More you now. Expected, no? 20%. Uh, 15%. So, expected nga. Tungon na itong inherent problem sa mga mention a while ago about about this one. So, uh, top three le best learning experiences in your major professional subjects. Daha na mga interesting answers, but we cannot go over one. 300 kamukta, no? So, na po yung needs improvement. So hoping I could summarize common ng mga ng mga struggles and uh, uh, sorry mga experience that need to be improved. All right, so I'll stop sharing and uh, we'll go to the, our last agenda. So the dogay ko dito sa kwan because uh, my sharing actually is more on feedback from the students. Feedback from the students. Okay. Sila may naka-experience. Okay? Sila may naka-experience. So, what are those uh, things that we need to improve on based on their experience, based on their feedback? Okay? Uh, okay, I have that. Oh. Ay, mabani. Dili na eh. Uh, okay. 
sorry. All right, so that's our current environment. Last but not the least, I'd like to share the the essential, no, the the best teaching learning feature, no, the essential feature of a best learner teacher. And I I, I do not craft this one. I didn't uh, get this one from the students, but this is research based. Uh, one. So I, I included the reference at the bottom by Terenzini 2020. Rethinking Effective Student Learning Experiences. So of course, the effective siya, that for me, that's the best learning experience. Teaching learning experience that we could impart not to our student. And uh, at the end of the session, I'd like you to reflect on if we could apply this one to our respective subject. Okay, so I still have four minutes, last four minutes. So first is, uh, what he did, ang ihang methodology lang is, for the past 50 years of research, ihang ikaw, 7,000 research, ihang ikaw late tanan, butang niya din to. So these are the indications that educationally effective student experiences in Involve encounters with challenging ideas or people. Give them a challenge. So give the, giving them challenging tasks and activities, ang problem lang nato is, sir, ang pag-check. No, mama na. So I, I'm not telling you to give an, a challenging uh, a challenging task or activities to student na every, every topic lang yun or every module. Pwede nga one challenging uh, task per semester. And that is your out output or outcome no, as a student. That's, that's why we call this one outcome-based. If possible, you have one challenging encounters. Ang uban ano yung is na po case-based problem, actual scenario, and then they tend to to look into the case, look into the koan, and apply the concepts that you have learned in relation to your subject. Okay? Or propose, or identify the problem, then propose solution. Pero, dili siya. Ang iyahang gravity is, dili po pang thesis. No? Ang iyahan lang is, na, na ang challenge na that will be applied from the concepts that you have, that he or she learned from your subject. For example, marketing. So, unsa man ang uh, a challenging task that you will require them to produce at the end of the semester, for example, or at the end of the grading period. Pwede na po. No? Depends sa mo. Second, require students to actively engage with the challenge. Siyempre, sila ginam naman ng kamot to nga mo active. Kuan, delete. Kuan. Ang, ang problem na to ani is since dugay man ang pag-check, dili na sa'yo mo ang individual. Ato silang iba'y group, for example. So, if iba'y group ni mo, na probability that a student will be a free rider. Di ba't ang gusto ng free rider? They want our, they want them, we want them to actively engage. And that's the problem being mentioned sa student nito nga a group activity lagi. Listen pa kayo communicate. Ikaw rin pagkat isa ang nagbuhat, nag-free rider na ang uban. So, uh, what we do, what we do is to conduct a peer evaluation. Let the let the members rate the contribution of other student. Okay. We can discuss a lot of this one, one by one, kada isa. Now, based on your experience and based on how you will apply this one in your subjects, but we don't have the luxury of time. Uh, occur in supporting environment. This one, I'd like to emphasize that if possible, the environment is lear a learning environment that promotes learning. Not, naigi pang mention dito that they will, kamala mo, kabantay mo anang uh, students who cannot express their thoughts. Why? Because they are afraid of 
nga ma- maulawan sila, nga murag mad- ma- madimin ang ilahang kuan. So try to have an environment na naay room for failures, room for errors, and room for improvement. Dili mo pasabot nga tawag ni mo siya for oral, perfect na yung answer. Okay? Expect a not perfect answer and correct and make necessary feedback and correction real time. That's the that's the that's the essence nga ng natay interaction, di ba? But it doesn't mean naman da kuno teacher nga maidimin ang students answer i ano no? So murag they are afraid of oral recitation nga dapat they should be excited with oral recitation, di ba? So so the environment that we should set up and ang sound sa to ang uh, sharing of thoughts and ideas should not be ano? It should be encouraging, it should be supportive with sharing of thoughts and ideas. Even if wrong to, even if tanaw ni mo, you do not agree, then it will foster uh, exchange of ideas na uh, Number four, encourage active real-world learning. Huwag ginaganahan sa estudyante. Huwag mo nilang na-miss. You don't want theory-based ng mga concepts. You want to know how to apply sa actual. And it should be actively really passive ito nga uh, hulat lang, kuhan lang, uh, answer-answer lang, gugul-gugul lang. So, you want a that will stimulate their critical thinking ba? No? Uh, kaning, kaning nga kaning nga case. Kung saan ako ang analysis about kaning nga case. And it can na Basta ganyan, thought processes, dilig niya siya googleable. Basta any, any challenging task na dili siya makita sa Google. Mauna, because sa kadagha na itong activities, tanan, ilara nang i-google. Pero kung dili makita, they will be challenged from it, they will be engaging in it, they will force to write down their own thoughts and ideas. Okay? And we wanted that, them to experience that kind of uh, that kind of experience, no? So, involve other people. Kibutas na involve other people. And I'm happy kay nga, no? Uh, I encourage this one and announce sa kong faculty na kung pwede, naamoy expert in relation sa inyong subject na atong i-invite. Especially karon nga naka, naka-online. We have a lot of alumni nga expert na nga field that could share in one hour or 30 minutes about about the subject matter in form of webinars for example or in, in form of talk shows for example and students are actually happy and very grateful nga naana siya nga mga reinforcing involvement from other people and that other people could be our industry partners could be our alumni that is relevant sa tuang subject okay and last but not the least invite uh, or promote reflection. I do think wala aning reflection because that is the only time that you will hear the students thought about the subject matter. What are their learnings and their reflection on the subject matter? So, munang, kung pwede dito wala ang bahala o one paragraph reflection about 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 the topic, about the subject, they will make it more personal rather than, again, the, the, the aid of Google, for example. So, uh, I'd like to end our koan, lapas na tag four minutes with our koan, but uh, I I hope that you learn a lesson or two about our uh, about our topic for this uh, morning. And with that, Thank you so much for, for listening and for participating. I hope that you could reflect on those uh, reflect on those best uh, nga mga learning practices. And siguro out of six, if possible, you could apply ka to lang uh, uh, siguro one or two na hingay lang no? in relation to, to the, the best practice na itong dimension a while back. Okay? So, thank you, and have a great lunch break, everyone. See you at 1 p.m. Though there's an announcement here. Katonaning Brothers Judges preliminary session. Uh, this is.